wouldn't talk about clothes. Oh, I don't know. If you were wearing a suit like this, I think it would be an improvement. Ah, uh, never mind him, honey. He's always joking. Come on, Eddie, push off. You won't change your mind about my proposition, Joe? Sorry, no dice. Uh, suit yourself. The show's running a little long. You think I ought to cut out my second course? If it's anything like your other number, I'd cut out the first course, too. See how Josephine, the tattooed woman, every inch of her anatomy from the tips of her toes to the roots of her hair is covered with a genuine reproduction of an artistic masterpiece. How are you, friend? Glad to see you. Why, you'll see the lean tower of Pisa and the more Josephine pants, the more it leans. You'll see Gainsborough's blue boy talking things over with Whistler's mother. We give away a $5 gold piece with every 10 cent admission. As an added attraction, I'll cut my throat. Would anybody give a dime to see that? <laughs> Very funny. I'm stopped. What you see before you, folks, is just a sample of what's waiting for you on the inside. You'll gasp at the incomparable beauty of the ten genuine Turkish harem girls. You'll thrill at the breathtaking extravaganza entitled A Night in a Turkish Harem. And that ain't all, folks. You'll see a young Turkish maiden sold to the Sultan for 20 pieces of silver. And finally, my friends, you're going to hear the authentic primitive music of Turkestan, as played by Abu Mandeb, a genuine native of mysterious Constantinople. Sahib. A genuine native. That's Frankie, ain't it? 
Dolly. Here's where I get even. Abu here neither speaks nor understands a bit of English. But how he can play those weird and difficult cadenzas of his world-famous native music. Listen, folks, just listen to that melodious melody. Hello, Frankie. Hello, honey. Glad to see you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that just goes to show you how intelligent these Turks are. Why, this man arrived in our country only two days ago, and already he speaks a few words of the English language. Now, I wonder how many of you people out there, after only two days or 48 hours in Constantinople, could say, Vazeru uh, Gastanabuka, which means, hello, honey, glad to see you in Turkish. Ha <laughs> ha, it's about as Turkish as that Indian blanket he's sitting on. <laughs> 